Yeehoo, what's up guys? New balance patch thing out. We have this skill being changed. Now it gives a 15% attack bar buff as well. And I can see a few things being pretty good with this. So I'm going to test out a few things. First of all, it makes it very easy to actually snipe something in RTA. So it's good for that. I think that's just pretty standard. Like, okay, you can make it work moment you are sniping something in RTA. That's pretty straightforward. But what more creative ways can we think of, for example, in an arena offense? So first thing I wanted to try out is the... Let's say we have a FIFA Chell and a Leo. How does that work? Because with this, you can have some pretty creative offenses, I would say. Because you do this. Apparently you proc. You can switch to the Destiny. Does that mean that it still laps? It still laps. So with that, you can just insta-slap something. Moment you're on Vampire you can actually hella slap the shit out of people. Which I would say is pretty interesting. So first of all, I would like to thank Fabi for allowing him to use his account. He doesn't have the most premium of runes, so I also don't want to switch too many runes, because he doesn't have unlimited mana. But I do want to show like some fun interactions, see how they work, see if they work. And let's see where it goes from there. So let's actually go for these two. Add in a Bastet. A Bastet and then a Slow Lucian. The Slow Lucian, it is lacking some artifacts. Okay, apparently this account doesn't have too many artifacts. And that explains why this account is lacking artifacts. Wait, man, you really gotta start farming artifacts, bro. You barely have any. What the hell? <laughs> okay, well, I still want to use a Slow Lucian because the Slow Lucian is actually too... So I might potential not fully kill this because... We lack some damage, but I just want to see how this works for the interaction. Let's see how this team would perform with a Viva Chell. So in this case, I can S1 on this. I can boost with Viva Chell. I can do a boost on this. Would that mean that Leo also gets the turn right then? Leo doesn't get the turn. Okay, that's too bad. I was hoping actually for Leo to get the turn, but does it make sense that he doesn't get the turn? Mm, it does make sense. It does actually make sense. So that's a little bit too bad. Also, if you have two units in between, you can't really use it as I would like because he actually gets too much attack bar within that time that he doesn't have enough. So your Viva Gel actually has to uh, move a second unit rather than a third unit. So that's something to keep in mind if you do want to use this team. So let's see. So therefore, you can't really add in an attack buff in between. Which was, in my opinion, the cool thing which I thought would be like the strong thing in there. But let's then see if we do a similar way, but then put FIFA Gel on the second spot. Okay, so FIFA Gel is a lot faster right now. Let's see how this would work out. I'm not too sure if a Leo would do enough damage this way though. Because you're not working with an attack buff. You do have like a first hit stomp on that. If you boost right now, you will boost the whole team. Hmm, that one still moves. Okay, interesting. Lucian still moves. Okay. Hmm. It does somewhat make sense, but it is actually a little bit too bad, because if I do this right now, I was hoping that Leo would move before all of that, actually. And then you can snipe something at first, and then the rest moves. But now to think of it, it does make sense, like, how it is panning out right now. Um... If you have a team that, for example, enables like a double will on something, then it would still be possible. But apparently like this, like how I was thinking it would work, it of course doesn't work. Hmm. That's too bad. That's too bad. So maybe within a team where there's three units, let's say Guild War Offense, and then you have your third unit. Yeah, I think in Guild War Offense it would be a lot better, because then I would say, okay, give Vampire to the Leo, uh, give Viva Chell and then have an attack bar buffer in between, and then your Leo moves third and you snipe something straight off the get-go. Plus, uh, yeah, I think that would be a very strong combination that way. But as I would like to use it here, you kind of need your fourth unit to be like a double will-ish kind of thing. That doesn't do too much to actually make sense of working it with a Leo and then this. So that's somewhat sad. I kind of expected a little bit more about that, to be honest. To be honest. So another thing I would like to test. Is, let's say we have a very slow Lucian and we're trying to outspeed things. 
Now currently we're at a certain rank that I have no clue what I would outspeed or wouldn't outspeed. But let's say we go for this one. We switch around this for a Pisama. And I actually would like to see if my Lucian would be able to outspeed something while being a Lucian that's actually very slow. So that's my other thought that I had on using this team. So let's say we have this. I place this on the Lucian. Then everything is boosted and the Lucian becomes 100%. And therefore, uh, would you outspeed? You would outspeed. So that is a way to make your Lucian that's normally like very slow in speed still move and have all of your other units move as well. Plus Viva Chell being a unit that has a 113 base, which is a very high base speed for a booster, you can actually make it work that way. So with that said, I would say that this team has more potential in the Guild War offense than the previous team I was just showing. So also let me know in the comments if you have any like creative ideas for Viva Chell. Sure, Viva Chell is a very unique Net5 unit, but it's fun to see like one of the Net5 units that was used in the past, not as much used anymore. To see it kind of revived, see it kind of happening, see it kind of work. So therefore I would say like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to see that a unit has like some possibilities once again. So we do this, we give that to the Lucian. We do this. In this case, I'm not going to hit the more because wouldn't be that beneficial. Let's just do as one. Well. Okay, I do get cut here. I did get cut there. So it doesn't work that well. You still have to have like a certain amount of speed to actually not get cut and get fucked up. So maybe for arena offense, it's actually worse than I thought. I thought it had a lot of potential for arena offense, but maybe it's just one of those units that feels really good on paper. But in the end, it's actually not that great. Hmm, could be a thing, could be a thing. Or you would need an attack bar booster with a higher boost. Could be a thing as well, could be a thing as well. Because we're actually over boosting quite some, but still the tick of Lucian is not that much that is very easy to get outsped. So for that reason, like against units that are a little bit slower, it is an option. Also for the cleanup, Viva Chell is a very good cleanup unit. Because in the end, if you think about Viva Chell, Viva Chell is a Triana with higher base stats and a different third skill. Triana can hit very hard. Triana can tank very well. So you do have those kind of mechanics. You have the cleanse in there and everything that makes Triana a pretty good unit in general. Now you have that in an F5. So I do really see some potentials in there. But arena offense wise, I'm not too sure if it is as good as I thought it would be at the start. Um, Siege offense-wise, however, I think Siege offense-wise, it probably has a lot more potential than, than Arena offense-wise. Because if you just put a Leo on, what's it called? Uh-oh. I'm going to die. I'm very much going to die. But if you put a Leo on Vampire, I actually do see quite some potential of being able to hit people and then do like certain things and actually follow up on them. Apparently, I'm losing a lot here. <laughs> hmm. What if you play against the Leo? If you play against the Leo, it's actually fairly easy, I would say. Yeah, I would say. So you could make a double nemesis and that kind of stuff. But probably this team is too tanky. Also, these Lucian runes that he has are not really the best, I would say. Also, to be honest, maybe that's not the best way of doing it. No, this doesn't change anything against the Leo. But yeah, the Lucian runes, it's not the best runed Lucian. Um, there's literally no artifacts on this Lucian, so keep that in mind. Don't, don't, don't get dragged away by like, oh, Lucian is not killing anything. The FIFA Chell is shit. No, that's just the Lucian being kind of shit. That's, that's different. It's more about like showing the potential of like an actual team rather than going over like, okay, this, this is the way to go. But I do really like the interaction with, uh, what's it called? Let's say there is no potential will runes on the enemy team. I do think there are some within this team, however. I do kind of feel like this team would be pretty nice. Maybe you can make a uh, double will on the Leo as well. That could be a thing, double will. The only thing is that you still are going to work against that you have very low attack bar at the moment. 
or very low HP the moment you do this. So a vampire is probably something you would like to aim for. So if we do this, I think the nemesis didn't even proc as much as could be possible. So we could easily kill something right here. And then we probably get stomped out right after. But those are kind of the interactions I could see working on all of this. Yeah. Plus we actually have healings. The healing is not enough. I think it's still below. Is that still below? Let's see. No, that's actually too much. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Otherwise, it would be pretty nice if Vivichal healed. Maybe there's Recovery S2. No, I don't think there's Recovery S2 on that unit. So if Vivichal healed just enough that you had like a second Torrent even though that you healed, it would be a lot better. But now you're just, just above the range of the Torrent, which means that you can't Torrent a second time unless you didn't heal the first place. So that makes it kind of tricky. So, maybe FIFA Chill is still one of those units better on paper than in the actual match. Which has a value for a lot of these kind of units that you feel like, okay, oh my god, this is so strong. Like, this is the ne best next thing. And then once you start playing it, you're like, nah, nah, maybe not really. So, also in RTA, I could RTA on this account, but I think it's, yeah, maybe a slightly weird representation because the, the rune quality is not that high here. So I'm not entirely sure if that would show correctly. Um, but yeah, I do feel quite some value on this. Maybe I should have done that on the other unit. Because now I'm tapping it on my own units. It's very easy to just tap it on the enemy and then actually kill the enemies with that kind of stuff. Because Leo hits a lot. Leo hits a lot. Holy... Did not expect to hit that much. I think if we heal this right now... No, that's above. That seems above, yep. Oh, okay, I think I uh, have to wait for a little bit less damage. Okay, there we go. No, it didn't kill. Too bad, too bad. You can also heal the enemy with this. There's very few units that actually heal the enemy. Could you maybe not kill my unit? Don't get it. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, we still lose it. So yeah, that's those were like my ideas for FIFA Chill. Like, let me know in the comments what you think about the new FIFA Chill. Yeah, I would feel like for RTA mainly, there's quite some potential. Arena offense, less than I thought. Siege offense, if you build one on Vampire and you make it an Insta 2v3, I would say it's very strong. So guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.